All right, let's talk about Jermaine Johnson, the first round selection. That was, you know, an interesting player to talk about heading into his first year. This was his pro football focus uh, draft profile page heading in. A lot of people felt like he could be, a, you know, there were people even talking about him as a top five selection. Didn't end up happening that way. Fell towards the back of the first round. Uh, and you see why maybe some people wouldn't be as huge of a fan of his if you are someone who likes PFF grades and stuff like that, which if you know this channel, you know that I do when it comes to edge rushers. The reality is this tends to translate very well to next level. Guys who do good at these specific categories tend to be good NFL players, and you see that his numbers, good for college, but maybe not outstanding. A grade of 78.1 for pass rush and a grade of 78.9 for run defense was both solid, but I think that what really got him drafted was his athletic profile. That someone who, very good uh, physical player and someone who you feel like could potentially get better as he grows and as he gets older. And one thing we just have to mention before we really get too far into this with Johnson is just the overall snap count. Because you might look at two and a half sacks in his rookie year and be like, wow, what a disaster. But he just didn't get a lot of snaps, only 312 snaps. So again, sacks as a whole aren't a great indicator of success uh, anyway. But let's talk about maybe how did PFF view his rookie year? As you see, they were actually a pretty big fan of his as a whole. A overall defense grade of 71.7 is definitely solid. Uh, you know, that's good enough to be considered the 38th ranked edge rusher out of 119 edge rushers. That feels actually great. Again, worth noting with the run defense and pass rush stuff, better at run defense than pass rush, uh, but, you know, not a huge jump either way there. Also worth noting, did not have enough pass rush snaps to qualify. So, according to PFF, Small sample size, but looked very good in that small sample size. Uh, but let's watch the tape maybe and see how do I view it? What did I see when watching his film? And do I agree? Was this a good season in a small sample size? Well, first, let's start off with a play like this. This is definitely how you were able to see him get a good chunk of his wins. Right off the bat, what you're going to see right here, it's actually a pretty interesting situation that arises here where it's not going to be, you know, typically, so for a right tackle, a lot of times it's the right hand. That's the important uh, part of the play. If you can get your right hand with the hand placement you want on the edge rusher, you're typically going to be good, right? That obviously logically follows, but Johnson's going to win not by using his left arm, which is usually what you do. You kind of use your left arm to try to get that right hand out of the way, or maybe just do something like a, you know, a swipe move or something like that. Not exactly what Johnson appears to be doing here. He has this kind of right forearm on that left arm, and I guess you could call this a swipe move potentially, but it's definitely not typically how you see this done. But at the end of the day, as long as you're winning, find a way to win. As you see, that's what Johnson's able to do, and he is able to eventually get to the quarterback for a sack right there. And these are the kind of things that I think you maybe feel optimistic about with Jermaine Johnson is the fact that you know he's a bit of a raw prospect. That's why he ended up falling in the draft in the first place is he's someone who people would be banking on upside, but there's also you know, we don't know how consistent he can be and how long it will take for him to get good at this stuff. But again, it's worth mentioning, you don't have to be a perfect technician to be successful at the NFL level. What you have to do to be successful at the NFL level is win. That's all that matters. As long as you get some wins, you'll be okay. And however you're getting those wins is all is, you know, is irrelevant. If you're getting wins, you're getting wins. Heading over to this play, this is going to be in the run defense game. You're going to see him, you know, one-on-one -on -one against a left tackle right here. That's what he's going to do, but it's very fascinating in how he's going to go about this run defense play. Watch the quickness of how he steps in, and now for the left tackle for the Pittsburgh Steelers, he's in a bit of a unique and peculiar position at this point. Because of that quick first step that Johnson uh, threw in here, uh, you see that there's not a ton you can do. Right? Ideally, you want to create a gap for the running back to run kind of right through the middle. But at this point, you can't really do that. This was a good read by Johnson to know where he has to be and to move in quickly to where now there's just not so much you can do. Johnson is able to, again, you can't really overpower him. He's able to come in and make a play. Uh, so again, you definitely saw the flashes. There's just no denying that. When you saw his rookie year, you saw him come in and be able to make some pretty uh, good, you know, flash is of splash plays very quickly and makes some really good reads very quickly. I thought, especially in the running game, like this plays another good example where his assignment here is it's actually going to be the fullback who's going to be flashing over to the other side to block him. 
And so right when his play begins, realistically right here is probably when he could actually notice what's happening. That's uh, about what, you know, could happen. So, okay, uh, if he, you know, can't get out of the way and gets blocked, it's honestly not a huge deal. You can kind of expect that to happen. However, as you see, he does read it and he gets to the you know side to where this block has now not been made. So, you know, Mark Andrews is a tight end who's going to be lead blocking on this play. To his credit, he reads this pretty well. He goes over and blocks Johnson, but he can't even fully get him. Johnson actually helped make that tackle. That's a great play from Jermaine Johnson. So again, in the running defense game, find a way to make a play. Any way you can make a positive impact is good, and that's what Johnson has been able to do, uh, again, in his first 300 snaps in the NFL. Also, let's head over to this play, because again, what we saw with Johnson was, you know, the great length of, you know, him, you know, really long arms, things like that, and also just being an explosive player. This is what we saw him do in college, and why some people really fell in love with him was his highlights could look great. Right when this play begins, again, you see right here, it's really going to be that explosiveness, how quickly he got to that point, to where, again, we talk about that left arm, the uh, you know, tackle here for Baltimore does not have, or excuse me, it's a right arm, because it's the right tackle, but he doesn't have that right arm exactly where he wants it to be because of that Johnson gets through and he is going to be able to eventually get to Lamar Jackson for a sack he caused Lamar to step up in the pocket first but then eventually was able to bring him down so really good stuff there once again from Jermaine Johnson so yeah I mean that's kind of how I view Jermaine Johnson's first season is like listen it was a small sample size, and the reality is I don't think we can make any sweeping statements about his first season regardless just due to the small sample size. That's kind of how I view it. But was it a good first season? Yes, this was a good first season, and you feel better about Jermaine Johnson after this year than you did after his first year. So uh, this is, you know... I wasn't a huge Jermaine Johnson fan coming out of college due to the bad analytics and due to the disappointing uh, PFF grades and things like that. However, obviously, I'm not too arrogant to sit here and say that every prospect I dislike is going to fail and every prospect I like is going to succeed. And if I'm rooting for Jermaine Johnson to succeed, uh, then this is the kind of season I would be hoping for him to have in year one. And he absolutely did that. So got to do it in a bigger sample size in year two. But it's a great first start here for Jermaine Johnson and Jets fans should be very excited. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.